Hello everyone, Squid Edge Joe here. Just a quick update. I kind of want to tell people because I know people are probably newer to the channel who's been subscribing because of the videos I've been posting up lately. Um, if you guys are been around the channel for a while, you guys know that I pretty much upload every single Monday as far as a product review goes. I used to do twice a week, but because of the complications with my son, um, who you know has been going through his own issues and stuff like that, and my sanity as far as getting rest and stuff, because I do suffer from sleep apnea, sleep paralysis, you know bipolar type 2 as well as PTSD which is uh, personal traumatic stress disorder not you know post traumatic stress disorder but it's pretty much kind of like the same thing or whatever because of my prior military service um, but I've been trying to you know at least like I said put up videos every single Monday uh, the problem is, is that this week throughout the United States is more in the central to the east side of it has been going through a lot of storms lately especially this year um, we've been having crazy winter storms at the beginning of the year for the past like two or three years and this year we had a whole bunch of tornadoes uh, tornado did hit my town not this system that just happened but the previous system not too long ago um, it had uh, actually hit my town and was very very close to our house we heard the sirens and stuff like that uh, my wife and son were asleep I kind of got woken up or wherever from it and everything but I didn't think it was like that close and then when we saw the footage and we realized how close it was to us um, we uh, initially you know obviously were thankful that we didn't get hit but at the same time it kind of made us realize that we have to take things a little bit more seriously and prep a little bit more there's been times where we, you know we packed everything or wherever and pretty much put everything in a car except for you know two of the pcs that we have because they are super expensive pcs but we kind of waited to the last minute because you know obviously disconnecting everything and stuff like that um, would be a hassle and then put them in the car and stuff so we kind of just waited to see what was going to happen um look, thankfully the last time um, after that there was nothing that uh, we needed to worry about so you know we we're able to bring our clothes in and stuff but this recent one um, it was really 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 bad uh, as far as the, the projected things so we decided to pack everything we left and we went through like three or four different states driving and stuff for hours um, only to come back and realize that nothing was wrong or whatever. But, you know, those couple of days being gone, I wasn't able to make content because, you know, I detached my PC. I detached my wife's PC that I had gifted to her. I took my cameras and stuff, some some of my lights and like microphones and stuff like that to make sure that, you know, if something did happen to where we live and we have to, you know, move out of state or, you know, move to another uh, living space, I would have at least like my camera, my lenses, you know, my PC and stuff like that, because um, these things are expensive. Yes, I have renter's insurance. I would recommend any content creator to really get renter's insurance, especially if you live in tornado, uh, tornado alley like I do, or, you know, maybe you live on the East Coast with hurricanes, whatever it may be, always make sure that you have renter's insurance. The problem with that is that I, we had time to prepare so I wanted to take uh, the items or wherever because even with renters insurance it's going to take me forever to get the stuff back file the claims do all that stuff so I wanted to make sure that I could still be up and running at least with streaming if not making you know uh, videos like this so again the whole thing is make sure that you get renters insurance um, I also realized that having stuff cable managed uh, wherever is actually a problem now most people would like the whole clean look of having no cables or barely any cables or anything like that I used to do that you could probably seen it in some previous videos that I did of my setup wherever in this room but I just realized you know with these couple of scares of packing everything up and trying to leave or wherever it's kind of pointless because I need to be able to grab my PC my cameras you know stuff like that little important components uh, to be able to make content uh, I needed to grab them quickly, you know, throw them in my camera bags, you know, put them in duffel bags, stuff like that. And not being able to do that because stuff is tied down, you know, um, with zip ties or whatever it may be, um, puts a hindrance on being really efficient as far as an emergency case scenario. So no more cable management. I just I gave up on it because there's no point because I live in Tornado Alley and storms have been getting progressively worse over the years. Um, as far as where I live, we are planning on moving out of state to another a state or wherever that's going to be completely away from tornado alley and everything obviously you know majority of the places that you live on a planet there's always some kind of uh natural disasters i grew up in north carolina wherever constant hurricanes over there um you know floods whatever it may be you know blizzards i don't know negative degree weather wherever wherever you go right in the world there's always some kind of natural disaster but um tornadoes i feel like it's in their own special category of 
you know, we do not want to mess with not being prepared and not uh, taking things seriously. Um, people in my, even the town that I live in right now, they still didn't take this last storm seriously. And the storm, even though it was potential for tornadoes, um, they popped up all around where we live, but they never popped up in, you know, in the space that we lived. Um, and people still took uh, the notifications and being prepared and the readiness or whatever uh, for granted, even though we already got hit with a massive tornado uh, that did a lot of damage um, in the town. So I don't know what's up with people, but I'm taking it seriously. My wife taking it seriously. We drove for hours. I had already been up for almost 48 hours at that point, watching you know my son making content, stuff like that, trying to get that fine, fine video that I just uh, uploaded not too long ago up and ready for the uh, for release or whatever of that day. And then um, just to find out that we had to drive like five hours away um, and then, you know, get to find a hotel and then get into the hotel, stay up or wherever, help my wife watch my son. Then I finally slept for like a few hours and then we had to get up again because the storm cell ended up moving or wherever a little bit further down to where we were at because we tried to get into the safe zone, but no, we were no longer safe. Um, and yes, we were in a hotel. We could have just rode it out, but we were trying to, you know, avoid any possible thing because like i said those storms were carrying like a baseball size hail and every place we went didn't really have a coverage for our car and we had obviously expensive stuff like the pc all that stuff in the car and everything like that so we were trying to get out of there um unfortunately on the way back we did run over a nail uh, there was no Walmarts, no auto sh shops really open at the time that we were driving. So we had to literally find the nearest one that was opening up sooner than even Walmart for how to have them plug the thing or whatever. And again, that's mispreparation on my part, not having something like that, not thinking that you would be in this kind of scenario. But like I said, now I, I know what, what to do and the steps to be more prepared and be more efficient at being prepared for emergencies and stuff. So take it seriously, guys, it, wherever you are living or wherever and when you know natural disasters are happening or storms are happening wherever take the st proper steps for being prepared wherever way beforehand even if you don't think a storm is going to ever happen just always have a bug out bag or like emergency bag or something like that like i said if you're a content creator make sure you get renter's insurance make sure that you have your stuff in a spot to where you can unplug everything fast quick in a hurry and pack it all up in a car um i have a lot of uh quick uh, release plates and stuff like that for my cameras, um, having, you know, extra cables aware for already like in my camera bag and stuff. So if I need to leave all the cables here and just take the lens in the body, I can do that and still have, you know, cables to be able to do stuff later, you know, batteries already charged for stuff portable lights or wherever that have functions like this light back here that I recently covered with from Lonzi has an SOS function on it and it has a decent uh, battery life or wherever, but making sure you have like lights and, and batteries and all this stuff or wherever so you know like if something happens if you live in a place like that um you will be you know ready to go and cover because i just i gave up on cable management because there's no point because there's no telling with how the new storm systems have been working recently and the weather has been working um, when something like this is going to happen and the reason why i'm saying all this and i probably talked long enough about it or whatever and you know got you to understand to take stuff seriously is because usually every single monday if you've been around the channel long enough um i tried to release a video i've tried to do two videos a week but that's been putting a little bit too much stress on me from trying to stream and still enjoy video games and stuff and provide that content over on kick there's always a live stream link down in the description if you want to watch my live stream but between doing that talking with companies making sure i get videos out or wherever one video a week every monday seems to be the way to do it um because that gives me a a week or at least two weeks or wherever or a week and a half sometimes with products so i can give uh somewhat of a substantial enough um information wherever from the user point of view when i do reviews unfortunately i have had this box sitting on my desk or wherever for a while from fine fine to do a video review and that was supposed to come up this monday but i've been gone pretty much the whole entire week um, since that Monday that I dropped that fine fine video so I'm not going to be able to even get to this or wherever this week coming up I don't even know it's probably going to get released later on next week or something like that I'm going to talk to fine fine let them know um, but I've had this box sitting here wherever for a little bit longer than I would like 
but there's nothing I can really do about it because, you know, my family's safety comes first. My personal safety comes first. My son's safety c comes first. My wife's safety comes first, you know, even before my safety. So making sure that we were okay, even though, you know, we came back home and everything was fine, no window damage or anything like that, but our car would have been out there with no garage, no covering or no nothing like that. It was baseball size hell, you know what I'm saying? And these tornadoes were predicted to be in the danger level of four out of five. So, and there was like four little cells and then on our way back or wherever, because of that whole tire puncture, you know, everything happens for a reason. And thank God um, we had that, that kind of put a slow little hitch into our plans. But because of that, we missed a, the last storm system that just popped up out of nowhere and tried to like change its direction a little bit and hit where we live again. So we came right after, you know, that stuff had passed. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, we had to go through multiple different states. A lot of the roads are not paved correctly. Um, they look like they haven't been touched in 10 plus years or something like that. And I'm talking about main drags. I'm not talking about only interstates. I'm talking about main drags through like populated areas or wherever they do not keep up with the roads. So I'm pretty sure my tires are just all sorts of jacked up now and I'm going to have to get new ones probably. So it's like sucks but you know at the end of the day at least we're all alive and like i said at least no damage happened to the property or anything so but we i mean we rent so it wouldn't really be on us but at the same time we're just luckily you know a safe or wherever so again i do apologize for not having a video up i know it's become expected i know some people probably don't even care and probably won't watch this video they're just like yo where's the next video kind of thing or whatever i understand from a user uh and a viewer standpoint or whatever but for those who do care i'm telling you right now i'm not sure when this video is going to go up or wherever i'm not sure i'm i'm extremely tired guys i might seem like i'm energetic but i'm extremely tired just getting back today and like I said, driving for hours on hours and some places not even having pit stops or wherever. You'd be surprised how many places out there don't even have like a gas station at an exit to where you can use the bathroom. I had to drive for like a whole hour and 10 minutes on the way home without being able to stop somewhere and use the bathroom. And there was cops everywhere and I didn't want to pull off the side of the road, you know, use the bathroom. And, you know, we have a one year old who probably needs a diaper change. My wife needs his bathroom, stuff like that. Trying my best to get home like it was it, this whole week has been exhausting so i'm not even gonna have time to fully go through this package or whatever and i feel like if i tried to put out the video it would be disingenuine to find fine it would be disingenuine to you guys because i wouldn't be able to actually give an honest review and i can't do that if i'm not physically all there you know what i'm saying so I'm gonna take it light for a couple of days, maybe stream, play video games, whatever it may be. But as far as like setting up stuff for B-roll and stuff, I need, I need some rest as of my you know prior military service. And then on top of that, having sleep apnea where I'm supposed to sleep with a sleep pap machine, if you know what that is. And on top of that, having, you know, sleep paralysis and just a whole bunch of other things and then all the stress and the anxiety and going through all this stuff wherever and then having a one-year-old on top of that and having a small car which is a sedan or wherever barely any room in there with all the stuff packed it's just it's been a lot to on my hands so hopefully you guys are understanding like i said that the video I don't know when it's going to come out. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I can get to regular uploads because even after this package that I have from Fine Fine, I have several other products I've been sent over there waiting to be reviewed and I just haven't been able to really get to them because the storm after storm after storm after storm. So, and apparently next week there's supposed to be a whole bunch of thunderstorms. I don't know if there's going to be any tornadoes attached to it yet. Let's pray to God it isn't because I don't, I really don't want to do any more driving. And like I said, I'm not even sure when we can get the tires fixed. It's just... Hopefully you guys understand. With that being said, y'all take care. Have a squid-tastic day. Be safe out there. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. I'm going to go get some sleep.